Well, I'm back for another Michigan football podcast, and we lose to Indiana. Uh, just a, another terrible, terrible loss. And has Michigan hit rock bottom yet? I guess, I guess that's the question I'll ask you guys. I think we're there. We were probably there last week, but it's just like every week I ask myself, can, can we go any lower? Can we do any worse? And I think we're actually playing a better football team this week. I guess it really isn't rock bottom this week. It was rock bottom last week because Michigan State just got blown out by Iowa. I think last I looked, it was 49-7. to So at least we can say this week we lost to a better football team. Yes, I'm going to say that. Not only better coach, it seems they have more talent. Now, I don't know if it's coaching or talent, but it looks like they're more talented than us. I'm just going to say that. I'm going to be honest here that this, this was a more talented team, so I guess I shouldn't feel so bad, right? But I'm not going to even bother breaking down all the plays. There's really nothing to break down. If you watch the game, you came to the same opinion I did. Michigan was completely outplayed again in all phases, not making necessary adjustments. And perhaps the most disturbing thing for me, though, and I don't know if you guys caught this. You probably did watching the game. But Michigan came out completely listless. It was like they were sleepwalking out there. And it almost feels, I kind of feel sorry for the Michigan football players. It's almost This almost feels like a job for them. It looked like they didn't even want to be out there. And that's kind of hard for me to accept. I can accept the fact we lost. I get it. I didn't think we'd win today. I was pretty sure we wouldn't. And I wasn't surprised by the result. But to see the Michigan football team just going through the motions and showing very little to no effort. Now they switched it a little bit around in the second half. Probably Harbaugh did some screaming, but... In the end, it didn't make a difference. And so I think that's the most disturbing thing about this football team. Now, I, you know, Harbaugh obviously is not coaching this team. He's, there's no X and O's. There's no preparation. I get it. But at a bare minimum, shouldn't he have this team coming out, playing with some energy, doing some high fives? And that's not happening. So again, that's yet another black mark on Harbaugh's dwindling coaching ability. And it dwindling each week. Just, I mean, I, I, Like I said, I think we're at absolute rock bottom. The good news is I don't think Harbaugh can come back now. That's the good news. I actually, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm rooting against Michigan, but after the loss, I can at least say, hey, I think we're closer to a regime change, a full regime change, which I talked about in the last podcast. That's something we need right now. Actually, we needed it yesterday. But if Harbaugh is going to coach out the rest of this season, and he probably will, I I don't think he's going to resign. And I'll talk, I'll talk in a few minutes why I think he should resign. But um, I, don't, I don't think that'll happen. I don't think Michigan will remove him. That's really not their way of doing things. Probably will be after the season. But I will say this. Like I said, I really have a problem with the team coming out and just sleepwalking in the first half. So at a minimum, Harbaugh should play this clip from Patton to get his troops fired up. In fact... He wouldn't even have to do anything. You just play this clip, and he doesn't even have to say a word. Americans love a winner and will not tolerate a loser. Americans play to win all the time. I wouldn't give a hoot in hell for a man who lost and laughed. And that at least would get the Michigan football team fired up because we know Jim Harbaugh is not capable of doing that. So yet another little ding on his a very forgettable career, head coaching career at Michigan. So I guess the point I wanted to make of this podcast is I think it's in everybody's benefit that come Monday morning, Jim Harbaugh calls a press conference and announces he's resigning from Michigan football. He doesn't even need to give a lot of reasons. He just said that, you know, he might even say something like, you know, the position obviously isn't for me anymore and I want to move on to the NFL, which is likely going to happen after this season anyway. If you read all of the pundits, and yeah, I know they can be wrong at times, but a lot of pundits think he is going to make his way back to the NFL in some form or another. And if that is indeed Jim Harbaugh's game plan, then why not just resign now and save your reputation? Is he really worried about those few extra million dollars he could earn? I mean, I, I think last I heard he's worth 20, 25, 30 million dollars, something. So is he really worried about that few extra million dollars he might make, or is he worried about saving whatever reputation he has left? And I I personally, if I were Jim Harbaugh, I would do that. I would just simply resign. He can get his name early 
you know, uh, his name in early on some NFL coaching openings, and there will be some. You know that Black Monday always comes after the NFL season, so he can at least get in and you know early on some positions he might want to interview for. I'm not saying he'll get hired, but I actually, and that leads me to another point. I actually think Jim Harbaugh at this stage in his career is actually probably a better, will make a better NFL coach than he would a college coach. Now, I wouldn't have said that six years ago. I actually thought it was the reverse. But hear me out for a minute. I think, first of all, and this is my take, you, you might say, well, wait a minute, he was very successful at Stanford. And yes, he was. But I think there are two things at play. First, he had Andrew Luck. Now, if you recruit Andrew Luck as your quarterback, you're probably going to have some measure of success on the football field. That was, uh, they don't come along too often, but Andrew Luck was about as great a recruit as you could get. And he was especially great in college football. I mean, he was a great college football quarterback. So no pun intended, Harbaugh lucked out getting luck. The second thing, second point I want to make is Harbaugh was, in my opinion, he was much more driven in those days. He had much more of an edge to him. His teams played with edge. And I think he was out to prove himself. Yes, I know. I think he was at San Diego State before that. But in terms of uh, his hunger level, I think he was really hungry to prove himself. And I don't see that same energy at Michigan. It's like dialed down completely from where he was at Stanford. And so that's why I don't think his game suits the college football game anymore. His coaching. I, I think it's actually better attuned for the NFL where players more and more look like they're just going through the motions. I would simply, I would simply, if I were him, I, and I think he is probably thinking this, I, I think he thinks his game is uh, better suited for the NFL, not for the college football game. I don't think he wants to get out there and recruit anymore. I don't think he likes all these recruiting wars he's got to do. I don't think he wants to take the time and, and commitment to coach these players. I mean, obviously at the college game, they need a lot more coaching than they do at the NFL game especially when you're coming up from the high school. Look at, uh, I mean, Milton would be a prime example. I don't think he's willing to make that commitment. So I think it's just beneficial for everybody, including Jim Harbaugh, to simply call it quits, move on, and, and Michigan can hire an interim coach, and then they can look for a long-term coach, kind of like what I talked about in the podcast last week. We need a complete break from this Michigan man nonsense and bring somebody in with some fresh blood to take an honest look at the program and revamp it to make it a 21st century football program. Because right now, uh, Indiana is moving in one direction and we're going in another direction. And we might even say that for the rest of the Big Ten. Look at Michigan State today. They were completely destroyed by Iowa. So the rest of the Big Ten is moving away from the Michigan schools. And both of these schools have to uh, turn it around. Now, obviously, we're going to have to give the new coach at Michigan State a little more, a little bit more time. But, you know, this this season is not looking very promising right now. When you take a look at Rutgers, for instance, would you say Michigan has any chance against Rutgers? Well, I mean, they have a chance, but, I mean, they beat Michigan State at Michigan State. And so that game certainly uh, is in question. And, you know, I think Michigan's going to luck out. They actually might not have to play Wisconsin because of the COVID. Let's hope. I never thought I would say that. I hope the game gets canceled. I don't even want to watch it. I'd rather watch 10 Lions, Detroit Lions football games <laughs> than watch a Michigan football game right now. That's how brutal it is. I mean, it's brutal watching these games. I don't, I'm putting myself through misery. I get it. And so have the rest of you, uh, of you Michigan fans. But back to Jim Harbaugh for a quick moment. Now, like I said, I think if he resigns, he's going to salvage whatever reputation he has left. And he does have some big things on his resume. Obviously, what he did at Stanford. And he also took the 49ers to the Super Bowl. Now, that's something. I mean, that is something. Um, that's certainly something he can put on his resume. I mean, I'm a, I'm a Detroit Lions fan, and we've never been to the Super Bowl. And I don't know how many coaches we've had. We've never even been there. So at least Jim Harbaugh can, you know, he's, he, can, he can point to that on his resume. And I think he will, you know, I think it's obvious he'll end up in the NFL. And who knows, he may have some uh, measure of success. I wouldn't put it out of the realm of possibility. But I think the college game is not his game anymore. Okay, that's it for this weekly podcast. Please uh, feel free to leave uh, some comments and let me know what you think.